Hi, my name is Dan with DroneBlog. Today, we will be walking through unfolding and folding the Mini 3 Pro arms and legs, proper propeller positioning for storage, and changing the Mini 3 Pro propellers. Now something most of us have become accustomed to when dealing with foldable drones is having to unfold the arms and legs in a particular order or sequence, whether these are DJI or even Autel drones. New to the DJI foldable line of drones and currently only available on the Mini 3 Pro is the much needed ability to unfold the drone arms and legs in any particular order. This is now possible because there are no longer vertical legs on the front arms. This is particularly useful when time is of the essence and even safer for the drone when unfolding. Now, one of the ways to unfold the Mini 3 Pro arms and legs is to grasp the top of the drone in one hand, while the propellers are tucked safely together, and turn the drone over. We suggest leaving the gimbal guard on for the time being to aid in camera stability. Now the next step, we'll rotate the front arms up and to the front, being careful not to bend the propellers. Now, we'll turn the Mini 3 Pro back over. Now, while gripping the Mini 3 in one hand, we're going to pull the left and right legs from their position in the center of the Mini 3 Pro body. This entire process can likewise be done by unfolding the back legs first, followed by the front arms. With practice, you can have the drone unfolded and ready for flight in a matter of seconds. Now we'll discuss positioning the propellers for storage. Now as might have been noticed with the Mini 3 Pro propellers, as is the case with all DJI Mini drones, the propellers are very thin and don't stay in place when stationary, unlike the ones on, eh, let's say the Air 2S for example. Getting the propeller securely tucked away without the aid of prop holders is important when packing the Mini 3 Pro for travel. Now here's one way to secure the propellers without having to purchase and use propeller holders. For the front arm propellers, fold the propellers towards the center of the drone. Tuck them one under the other so that they lock each other securely into place. Now we'll turn the Mini 3 Pro over and gently place the propellers within the vertical landing feet. This spot lightly holds both sets of propellers in place. Now we'll go on to changing the propellers. Changing the Mini 3 Pro propellers is a little more involved than changing the propellers on larger drones with their twist lock mechanisms. Before changing the propellers, it's imperative that you use the correct propeller for its motor location. Now if this is not observed and the wrong propeller is used, it will result in the drone not taking off or flying correctly. If you look at the propeller packages your new props are in, they are labeled A or B. The front right and rear left propellers are labeled as A. They have a small ridge built into them near the mounting location. The front left and rear right propellers are labeled as B and do not have a ridge on them. When preparing to change propellers, you'll need the screwdriver that came included in the Mini 3 Pro box, as well as the proper spare set of propellers for the respective motor locations, either A or B. To change the propellers, first remove the proper propeller from its packaging. You can also remove the spare screws and set them aside. Now, unscrew either both propellers or just one if only one is damaged. Now set aside the damaged propeller. Next, carefully screw in the new propeller or both if both are needing to be replaced. Although this is a fairly straightforward and simple task, putting the new propellers on incorrectly or loosely can result in the loss of the drone or worse yet, damaged property. That's all for this video. If you find these types of video tutorials helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. 
For more tutorials and reviews, head to our website, droneblog.com.